Hello again, traders, and welcome back to the Hot Stocks Outlook for July 19th, 2024. I hope y'all are having an excellent week out there in the financial markets. And as always today, we're going to take a look at the most recent Vantage Point predictive forecast. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click on the link in the description below and get yourself signed up for a live demonstration so you can learn all the specifics about how these predictive tools are helping traders make better trading decisions day in and day out in the marketplace. Now, a really exciting week here, building off of really last week where we identified that, hey, we're seeing actually some weakness in those bigger cap stocks. That's actually why we looked at IWM rather than the SPY. Uh, and the home builder is doing quite well. So we've sort of got some themes that have opened up very recently. But each week what we do is we take a look at this SPY and some of these given periods of time and we can sort of see this playing out here where, you know, over the year to date, of course, we have a really nice move here. 17% just in the first, you know, seven months or so. Really nice move out of the broader marketplace. But what I highlighted last week is we're really starting to see, especially those big mega cap stocks start to run sideways. And that certainly plays into the overall index, something like the SPY that we have here. So uh, we wanna really understand, okay, where are those better places to focus our attention based on the vantage point predictive forecast? And so here's some really great examples of how all of this works. And so uh, here in shares of Microsoft, what we have here is daily price action, right? So each one of the candles that you see, well, that represents a full and complete trading day. And right up against that price data, the first thing that jumps out is there's a black line and also a blue line value. Now, the black line value there, that's actually a simple moving average or what we refer to as the actual simple moving average. And in this case, it's a 10 period. So it just takes the last 10 closed prices, adds those all together, and then divides by 10. And so indicators like that do a good job as really acting like a baseline for us, right? Letting know where prices have been, but obviously traders wanna be ahead of that next move in the marketplace. And so what we're able to do is actually compare that value to this blue line, which is a proprietary predicted moving average generated via the technology within vantage point. And so this is what's important to understand is that rather than looking at just past prices, which most technical analysis does, what vantage points technology is doing is it's understanding the relationships that affect and drive the future price of the target market in question. So in this case, Microsoft. And so it's able to look at other markets that are known to drive and influence and offer really important price clues as to where things are likely to go next. And so that, of course, is going to be things like the SPY, uh, maybe some of those other larger cap, cap stocks that share important market relationships. But it's also things like currency futures or commodity futures. And so this is where it really takes this global approach, understanding really how dozens of markets are affecting and influencing the trades that you're trading in, essentially the markets that you're participating in, and then uses that to generate these highly accurate forecasts so that traders can be, again, ahead of these moves in the marketplace. And so what we actually see here is actually Friday, which I make these sessions before Friday starts going you know, uh, into the trading day. But you see that once the close came here on Friday from Microsoft, well, we actually have that blue line crossing below the black line, indicating that the overall trend is down and certainly we can see really from this point what well, we've gotten about a you know three and a half percent move in microsoft and that's going to affect of course the spy and the cues and so not terribly surprising to see the sort of price action that we got this week and the beauty of this is that it's not just those predicted moving averages you also have this bar at the bottom of the chart you see this red line which in subsequent forecasts you'll see it goes from green to red and back to green but what it's doing is always looking ahead just 48 hours so it's utilizing the technology of artificial neural networks and artificial intelligence, but they're tuned to solve a different problem now, and that just being very short-term strength or weakness in the market. And really to round out our forecast each week, we look at these predicted high and low ranges, which provide traders intraday levels to make those trading decisions. So here in Microsoft, where we see that crossover moving to the downside, going into the week, you understand, hey, Microsoft is in a downtrend. If anything, you'd want to short, take profits on shorts and look towards these vantage point predicted levels to get involved. And you see just about a perfect entry for the week before we get this really aggressive decline in Microsoft. And then we're seeing even more news come out today that's driving down some of these tech shares uh, like CrowdStrike, which we'll go ahead and take a look at here shortly. Now, we also are seeing though the opposite play out, right? So you always wanna say, okay, well, if I'm using these forecasts to make these trading decisions, well, 
we can let them guide us to, of course, where the forecasts are actually bullish. This is the whole point in increasing these probabilities that we get the sort of move we're looking for. So here you see exactly the opposite, right? Blue line crossing above the black line here in Henry Shines, this being a, a healthcare uh, 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 device manufacturer. Uh, but very similarly, that neural index bullish throughout the duration here. And again, highlighting a place we're going into this week, a much better place to look to exploit the marketplace, right? And get involved in some of this trade. So you actually see that really towards the end of last week, this would have been Friday moving down towards those predicted lows and really seeing this market start to accelerate. We've got, you know, overall here uh, from those predicted lows, you know, already about a nine, 10% rally here in just five trading days. So extremely aggressive move. Uh, and we can see how accurate again, all these levels are. Look at this predicted low 6478 against the actual low of 64.78. So it doesn't get much better than that uh, when trying to get those entries and identify potentially some new trading opportunities. Now, last week, we also looked at one of the home builder ETFs, and we even looked at builder first source is really seeing those predictive indicators start to skew bullish and indicate that there's some opportunity here. Uh, and so we do have earnings coming through here and again, some volatility, but understanding that, look, we've got a bullish trend here, right? So if we look back this again, being Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, now going into the current trading day, we can see how accurate all of these predicted levels are. And this is pretty beautiful here, right? And DR Horton, because you see how the market closes right at that predicted low, meaning you really need to hold overnight to benefit off of these explosions in price. It happens again here, moving down to the predicted low, but the overall trend, very bullish here. Uh, and again, just an area where the vantage point predictive indicators have really gravitated towards that, right? Seeing the home builder ETFs, uh, seeing the other home building stocks start to get these crossovers to the bullish side, seeing the building material companies. And here you have about a 20% rally just in the past six trading days. And so this again is really where Vantage Points and Telescan can be really helpful to alert traders to these moves as they're occurring, right? Before we start getting that acceleration in prices so that traders can position themselves accordingly. Now, this I just find a little bit interesting where uh, we're getting a lot of news going into really today about CrowdStrike and these global outages of airlines and all the way from Australia through the Americas and really causing a lot of disruption. Well, it looks like this was a stock that you really didn't want to be holding on to over a week and a half ago. And so as we see the tech space start to go lower and the queues go lower uh, and a lot of those mega cap stocks go lower. Well, you should expect that, well, a lot of stocks will follow here. And so here in CrowdStrike, uh, we see we get this blue line crossing below the black line, neural index bearish. Now you get one little blip here where that neural index pops up to a one, but or a, 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 a green configuration, but then immediately bearish again. And you see for the duration here, pretty much every day saying, look, the overall trend is down, exploit those opportunities to the bearish side, if anything. Uh, and of course, we see those predicted highs and lows again, offering these levels that say, OK, well, if you want to get short, this seems like a good area to go ahead and get those positions uh, on. Uh, and now we're seeing things really start to move to the downside with even that catalyst of the news driving things uh, lower still. So uh, again, we've gotten about a you know, 9, 10 percent move. I'm pretty sure this thing's going to gap down and continue on with that move. Uh, lastly, here we can just revisit Tesla. So. This was a market that if you want to go back and watch those previous hot stocks outlook that we brought very early on in this trend, really before we got this huge acceleration, but you could just see all this strength coming through. Tesla had had a really rough start to the year, uh, but as these predictive indicators, we see the blue line crossing above the black line, neural index getting bullish here, uh, and again, highlighting an opportunity where you may want to go long, take profits on long positions. Uh, and we see here this market going up about 40%. Uh, 41 percent just in the past 22 trading days. But more recently, see, again, that broad market weakness come in, some of these crossovers coming in on some of these stocks that have done really well. But what you really want to identify is right back here is where this opportunity begins. And vantage points, predicted highs and lows can help guide the trader, whether you want to take some short term profits along the way uh, or use that to accumulate a position at better prices. But you see all of these entries down here. Uh, allowing traders to get a really nice entry down really below 190 uh, and now a market pushing up against 250. So really exciting moves throughout the marketplace. But of course, things shift and change. And so in the same way that we see these big cap stocks and a lot of the tech stocks starting to weaken, 
but you want to take note of that uh, using some of these features that can really help you identify where are these predictive indicators starting to move in that bullish or bearish direction. So uh, once again, this has been our hot stocks outlook for July 19th, 2024. Thank you all for watching. Best of luck and bye for now.